in Danville, Pennsylvania for the finals of the USQA Iron Heritage Coit Tournament. Two teams involved will be Too Lucky versus CC and Keith Conrad. Too Lucky world champions here have won before. CC new to winning but Keith Conrad is a point series champion and knows how to get it done. This should be a most interesting matchup. I didn't realize they scored already. All right, fans, we're just underway for this game. Takes her time and her first shot is a little bit off the pin. A little bit backwards. Lyle throws eh, a little short, but and she hits her own quite and pushes it against the pin. Very nice shot by Cece. And they're looking for two points at the moment. Just one point. And his first throw is right against the pin, standing up. That is a very good shot to block ringers with, and Keith Conrad knows that all too well. B throws nonetheless. And he's still good yet. Second throw is a little deep. There's a little bit of pin there, and sometimes that's all this guy needs to put one on. But there's a lot of metal there. Very good look, but Keith gets the point. First shot, a little wide on the left. Whoa, a little bit of bad luck there. for Lyle and he throws and he's a little short
And Key's first throw is another nice stabber in the front. They're quite hard to work with, folks. They're good ringer blockers. They can be hit over sometimes. And it is, he did hit it over. Keith is probably going to attempt to come low and bring it back. And if not, he can still be in for a point regardless if he puts it in there. And Keith does that, being the consummate professional that he is. <laughs> Nice look by B for a ringer, but Keith's taking the points. First throws are just a little short. Oh, half inch isn't bad. You throw with these guys in inches, a lot of room to do some damage. Lyle was off a little bit to the right on that one. And CC sitting in for two in the front. Which one has more ring in front of it? Uh, they're about the same, Lyle. They're both almost an inch. <laughs> well, she has two. The score is now 8 0 in favor of CC and Keith. They got a nice start here, but. When you're throwing against beef, sometimes you can't have too much of a lead. Another nice stabber by Keith. He just keeps doing that. And B puts a ringer on his first of the game. Keith is going for the topper. A little short. A nice blocker for putting another one on, but don't underestimate this guy. A little wide, they get three. Now an 8-3 game. As we say in Quates, for the people throwing, it is 3-8. Uh, he threw a couple inches short on that one. Not happy with his throw. Throwing against his aunt. Believe it or not. We got family in this one. Oh, there's plenty of room here for CC to do some damage. They want to keep that lead. They want to go. Oh, it was there, but bounced back. Two lucky gets two points. Score five throwing eight. And his first throw bounces off. Beeb is pretty much a pure ringer throw. You live by the sword, die by the sword, and he kills a lot of people with it. Oh, Keith backed off a little on that one. Keith is in for the point and looking for more.
He was looking ringer. Now six throwing against eight. A little bit wide. Preferably the front of the pin is where you want to put it and can do the most damage. Take one against all day. Uh, she might have squeaked in over top of him. But there's still some room there in the front of the peg. She throws and bounces off the top of the pin. Good look for a ringer. But a little bit short. I think we need the calipers to measure this one. Very handy tool to have when measuring when they are both off. You can use the calipers to touch the one, the pin, and the one quait, and then use it to measure the other one. That tells you right away who's closer. It can come down to a couple of hairs here, but calipers don't lie. Still measuring here, that's how close it is. Now a 7-8 game. Too lucky coming back from an 8-0 deficit. Oh, B throws a little short. Keith hoping to take advantage of this. Nice stabber by Keith in the front. B throws in is off the peg. Partner wants him to throw for a point. The fans want a ringer, but I know what Keith will do. He's going to throw for that second point. With your opponent having a quake that far away, sometimes it's better just to go for a point instead of hit a ringer. Nine seven game. They got off of eight. It's been a while. Seven point run by two lucky. Well, that was a little bit of a flopper. And the upside down ones do not count. Not the way we throw. And probably an inch and a half short. Well, plenty of room to put one in. And she puts one on the side. Yes, he is 
off of the pin. One for CC, 10 7 game. Best of three in the very first game. Another stabber in the front, but not tight. Wow. Pretty close for a ringer, and he might have pushed him over. He is still good. His partner confirms that. A little short on the ringer. Oh. They're looking. Is he over or is he not? He knocked him over. Score now eight throwing ten. Nice shot on the side by CC. Is that other one? Is my plate within a plate? Yeah. Nice shot, Steve. Good look at a ringer. Nice ringer by Cece. She wanted that. Four points scored on that one with the ringer. Score now 14 throwing against eight. Big shot by Cece. Big shot. Fans loved it. Good look at a ringer. Keith's got the stabber in the front. Oh, that one a little short and rolled away. He wanted to put some more in there. He wants to block the pin as much as he can against this guy. But I think he blocked enough. Score now, 15 throwing 8. CC's first shot a little wide. If he throws one to the left of the pin, there's a little bit of room left for CC. Always room in the front. Landed on his, bounced away. Two for Lyle, now 10, throwing 15. Oh, his first throw bounces back. It's currently over. It's a blocker in front of the pin. It's something they have to work with. You might not come back good, but you never know. Keith going for the right side throws a little wide on that one. But he's still counting for a point. Forward, 
There you heard the report. That's a hard one for Dad to bring back. But right side is a place to be right now. Now 11 throwing against 15. Pretty close, all but touching. Good start on your first quake. It was a little short, but bounced in, but not quite. Oh, bounced away. Now 12 throwing against 15. Too lucky, making a little bit of a comeback here after being down early. Nice point throw by Beave. Looked pretty tight. Keith had a look out of ringer and bounced away. Oh, Beavis sitting too. And Keith hits a ringer. The fans love it. It's now 18 to 12. Got several Conrads work watching here. They like seeing their family member do well. They're used to seeing this. Boy can throw. And sees he puts one flat against. That's a nasty start. Oh, he went for the ringer, bounced away. Puts one to the side, sitting two. What's Lyle going to do about it? He's going to bounce it away. Now 20 throwing 12. He's looking for the win here. His first throw bounces off. And be plenty of room. His partner's confident down there. She's happy. Oh, and he bounced away. Good opportunity for Keith put one tight and hopefully squeeze the last point of the game out of this. And he puts one in the front. Now looking, it's close. Is it over or is it good? He, he will go bad. He's straight. He's dead straight up and down, so it's just needs a hit. Yeah. All right, I'll try to put one there. He's a little short. Didn't quite hit Keith's wait like he wanted to to push him over if you hit him high he will go over easy 
then there's a matter of you staying in to count for a point after you knock them over. Not always easy to do in one shot. Right now we're having a lighthearted moment as the players can't decide on whether it is good or it isn't. So we need to call somebody in here, a Quaid player not throwing, to call it. Billy Conrad Jr. comes in, helping me out with the scoring. That is the end of the first game. Keith and CC win the first game. They need one more to win. They are the underdogs and they have the fans behind them. <laughs> 